Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've got something brand new for us here in the uh, in the underground lair here of Stringman Guitars. That's right, we got a banjo, actually a banjitar. We've got ourselves a Dean Backwoods banjitar. So there's two problems with this B Dean Banjitar. I don't know if we can see it in the movie here, but you see how this is depressed into the 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 head. The bridge is depressed into the head, and also we noticed that up at the um, at the nut, the string action is too high on the E A D. And G strings. As you get to the, the other strings, they're a bit lower, so the nut is cut wrong. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get this to the right tightness. So we have to take off the resonator back, and it's really echoey. You can hear that. That's really weird. Okay, so um, let me get at disassembly and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we've got the resonator off and I've got, a, got the strings really slacked off so I don't want to have to restring this. So we're going to pull the strings taut up at the headpiece and if I could find my capo, ah there it is. We're going to throw the cable on a first fret just to keep the strings there temporarily. Now we're falling off the uh, tuning heads. We just want to make it work. Alright. There we go. Now we have room to take the bridge off. ball in stay in there. Now, the trick is, from what I understand, is you want to have nothing on you want to have nothing on the head. And what you want to try to do is okay, there's nothing touching the head, so it ain't going nowhere. These are a little, and of course you're not the same size. Okay, that's what we need. And take a, uh, oh, what is it? six millimeter and what we want to try to do is I'm just going to use this as a striker I want to get the same tone about two inches in all the way around Okay, good. They are all currently the same um, tune. So by knowing that, I know I can turn each way a quarter turn and it'll stay the same. Okay, we've got a quarter turn all across here. Now, let's see if it all still sounds the same. 
way tighter. Right there I think I want to tighten just a little bit more. Same, same noise all the way across. Let's go ahead and get rid of the eraser. Go ahead and slide the uh, strings back into the area that the, they want to live. tighten this up a little bit more and they say you want to be able to just by slightly touching the head here you don't you want to be able to make it move just a little bit but not so much that you're causing it to um, really go out of whack. And from what I understand, whack is a technical term. So we have, let's see what it looks like. Doesn't look like it's pushing down as much. But it's also moved from where it was. So let me tune this thing up. All right, so we are tuned up. And according to Brad at Dean, we want 10 thousandths relief. Let's see how close they got it. Capo. And unlike a guitar where you use the last fret, or use the, the fret that's where the body meet, the uh, the body joint meets the uh, neck. You use the um, last fret. And we want to go to the seventh fret. And we want ten ten one thousands, and we don't have that. So off comes the truss rod cover. Ah, screwdriver. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in here. Plastic is still on the truss rod um, hatch, if you will. So we want to tighten the truss rod, so I'm gonna make the strings just a little bit loose. And truss rod lottery, I'm gonna guess that's a five. Metric, five mil, let's see. Nope, it's a four. All right, we've moved it. that 
this this uh, Chinese made Dean banjo banjitar is has Grover tuners on it, which is cool. All right, let's see where that leaves us. Ten. Seventh fret. We still need to tighten. Ten reason there. Slap the capo on. This is going to have it. Oh, I like that. That's way better. All right. Now, Buddy was complaining about not having enough um, relief at the, uh, or not enough relief. The nut wasn't cut deep enough. Let's see what it says. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I'm going to have to slot all these nuts. We want between 19 and 20 thousandths at the first fret, and I've got enough to fly a jumbo jet underneath, which is why he says that the. Uh, let's see what it's like on the. Uh, All of them can, can come down some. Okay, so let me tackle that. This is this is sorted. We'll have to adjust the intonation once I get the nut fixed. But this is no longer Green Valley here. <laughs> so, all right. Be right back. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We got the. Um, I still think that's cool, the echo that you get off of these. <laughs> so, anyhow, we got our uh, nut height down to 20 thousandths, or string height at the nut on the first fret down to 20 thousandths. And we have, I mean, you have a flat bridge here. It's not any sort of contour or, or compensated, that's the word. Um, but the only thing you could do with those sort of bridges is get both E's in uh, intonated, so to speak. And it's a 25 inch scale. And I want to show you on the um, marks, whoever had this before my buddy got it, had it set at a 25 and three quarter inch scale. <laughs> you can see where I put the pencil marks way back here. I was wondering why all the strings weren't underneath the uh, this stop piece, and um, yeah, that's why they just I guess they just guessed. So both the E's are as intonated as they can be because unlike a guitar where you have a sharp point you have an eighth inch wide flat piece of wood with a um, with a um, slot cut in it to keep your strings in place um, so you really I mean you, you gotta get it close but um, anyhow Now that it's kind of in tune, also put some of this at the nut because the cheap plastic nut was just not making it work. Put 
this up here to work better. There we go. Okay, so we're going to try something new on the old Banjaruni. Yeah, I went went to the bookstore the other day and got a copy of uh, Getty Lee's um, big beautiful book of bass and he was there and he did a book signing and it was really cool and he's really one of the nicest guys out there but anyhow in tribute the first time ever on a banjo fly by night baby so all right um, we're going to go ahead and put the resonator back on this and uh, put the arm piece back on it and call this done. Come back and check it again tomorrow. We got the, the, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, we got no string buzz. We've got our, everything is, you know, the, the relief of the neck is all cool. So, hey, if you guys would check me out on Facebook, let's get me back into picture. Uh, here we are. If you would check me out on Facebook, like this video. If you, There's all kind of other videos about other kind of repairs. This is my first on a banjo, and I think I nailed it. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, if you would subscribe to my Facebook, or like my Facebook channel, Stringman Guitars, and if you would check out the YouTube video uh, and subscribe and like my YouTube channel, I love you long time. So, peace, take care of each other. It's almost Christmas time, and there is not enough love in this world. Be good to each other. Love your neighbor. Peace.